Hello folks, this is Sula once again. Welcome to part two of a playthrough of Super Mario Brothers 3. So yes, this is another verse part of our retro gaming uh, corner here that I do occasionally on the channel just for fun. Right here, I'm at the start of world four. I'm gonna use the hammer that I saved up and I'm gonna break the brick on this toad house. Why is that? Well, that's because there's a Tanuki suit in here and the Tanuki, Tanuki Mario is my favorite uh, suit, favorite version of Mario in this game. I'm going to head and go ahead and use a mushroom and that's going to allow me to uh, get a leaf from this first power up block right here instead of not no it's not this one it's it's the next one right there so i get a leaf out of here instead of a mushroom so it makes it uh might, makes it very useful to use that mushroom item okay so for those who didn't see part one if you didn't see it go ahead go ahead and check it out the goal of this is we are playing through super mario brothers 3 the idea is to play all the way through the game on one life. As soon as I die, that's it. The game's over. I'm trying to see how far I can get. And the goal is to try to clear every level and every Hammer Brother and just see how far we can make it. I've made it uh, into World 7 before doing this, but I've never actually beaten the game and I am sure that I won't do it on this occasion either unless something really weird happens, but I uh, will see how far I can get in any case. Now, as to this specific world and this specific level, World 4 is one of the more famous parts of Super Mario 3. It is the giant world. Everybody loves this world, where everything is super big. This is a secret area here in uh, World 4, level 1, 4-1. If you go and fly up uh, at the top of that waterfall, you get this area where there's a bunch of uh, one-up mushrooms in here. There's also these guys who are trying to kill you. Well, these guys look just like the ones that will eat you in World 3, but uh, they actually won't eat you. They just shoot little fish at you. So, little secret area in this level, right up top there. I don't think too many people know about that one. That's not one of the more famous secret areas. Uh, maybe I should have just left that, that uh, leaf in case I needed it. Oh, well. In any case, let's keep going. Sometimes I will take a turtle shell with me through this area. You can pick up and carry a turtle shell with you. But I do have the raccoon tail, so I'm probably okay. There's only a coin in that block. There's nothing special. Anyway, let's keep going. On to the end of this level. Let's see if I can get another star. Give me a star. Give me a star. Give me a star. Yes! Starman is back. Five more extra lives that I can never use. All the way up to 56. But we're getting closer to 99. Like I said, I, I, I'd love to see if I could make it to 99 before I eventually end up dying. Anyway, on to 4-2. This is another White Mushroom House level, so if I do this level correctly, I can get an anchor in the White Mushroom House. We will see. What you need to do is you need to open this. Oh, no, wait. That's a power-up. I forgot. I thought that that was the P-switch for a second. There is a P-switch in this level, but that that's not it. And I'm trying to make sure I don't get hit by the fireballs. Here's another one of the piranha plants. The ones in World 1 only shoot one fireball. In the rest of the game, they shoot two. So I need to hit this P-switch, and then I need to grab all these coins. And then I need to get the rest of these up. Oh, I missed. I'm probably not going to get the White Mushroom House now. Can I get them? Uh, I think I needed to get I think I think needed to get those three. So I think I'm going to fall short here. Did you see how I missed three? I think that I'm going to fall just short. I believe I needed to get those. In any case, though, the extra the star back there makes it a lot easier to get through the level because once those cheap cheap start up. Oh, no, I got the, I got the card game. I must have another 80,000 points. Yep, 480,000. Anyway, at the end of that level, at the end of 4-2, the cheap cheeps start appearing and chasing after you. Well, we can get a star at least. And it's much easier if you have the invincibility. Oh, wow. I didn't. I did not expect that to turn into a star. That was a big surprise. Okay. A little bit lucky there. Now how much crud do I have in my inventory? Wow, everything's full. I need to use something. Um, maybe a star... Yeah, let's go ahead and use that. Uh, so the Hammer Brothers in World 4 are, are really big. So I used a star in order to get a cloud. Ooh, I can I can burn. Maybe I can burn through some of these clouds. I've got a couple of them in my inventory. I don't really... They, so the clouds let you uh, skip a level. I can use the music box too, potentially. Hmm. What do I want to do here? Let's go ahead and burn through another one of those stars here in the Mushroom House. Does absolutely nothing. Just trying to keep the inventory in decent shape. Ooh, I got a leaf. Excellent. Much rather have that leaf than that star. The leaf is genuinely useful. Still trying to burn through some stuff. I could use play the music box, potentially, and get rid of it. 
or I can use use the cloud. See, let you pass through levels and watch. Let's do this back the other way. I'll hold on to that third cloud. This level is a level where you want the raccoon tail because some of the jumps in this level are a little bit tricky. But the beginning of the level is a little bit hard. Those two hammer brothers, the big guys. What you didn't see there is that if they hit the ground, uh, when they jump and land on the ground, they have a little shock wave. And if you're standing on, oh wow, I lost the raccoon tail. Okay, that just makes this level significantly harder. Because there are some pretty big, so, somewhat challenging jumps. I think I can get a leaf here though. That would be really nice. Yes. Uh, what you didn't see with the uh, with the Hammer Brothers back there is when the big guys jump and hit the ground, there's a shock wave, and if you're on the ground, you get frozen in place when they do that. So they're a little bit tricky to deal with, but I pretty much just flew over their heads using the raccoon tail. So this is a level where you might think, hey, maybe I should start the level with a fire flower so I can kill the Hammer Brothers. That works, but then you get here, and then you have this like platforming section, and it's a lot more difficult if you do not have the raccoon tail. Oh wow, I almost got hit by the spiny spiny guy there. There's nothing in those bricks, I believe, if I remember correctly. This is where it's a little tricky. I mean, it's not hard per se, but again, if you miss the jump, you die. And as far as I'm concerned, that's game over. So just be careful. Make sure that you line up the jumps and it's fine. And now I'm finally getting stars every time I hit the box. So that's pretty cool. All right, so that's three levels down. Now we get to the first fortress. And this one's not too bad either. Oh, this is the first time, the oh yeah, the, the little candle guys chase you, but they're not too tough to deal with. There is a pipe, you can go down the third one, and it's a little bit of a shortcut. Although it's it's a dangerous shortcut, you're down in this area with all these dry bones. There's a flower in here somewhere, one of these, there it is. Uh, but you can jump out right there, see the, 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 the uh, background's a little different color. See, I don't know if you saw that or not, you can always rewind the video. The background is like a little bit redder where the blocks are. It's just a little bit off, so that shows you the path out. Anyway, it lets you skip through part of the fortress. Not that the fortress is that tough, but a little secret path through. Anyway, in these fortresses, they increasingly put blocks to mess you up when you want to jump on this guy's head. See how there's the three blocks in the middle? That's not too terribly inconvenient, but the further you get in the game, the more blocks they start to put to screw, screw you up when you try to jump on people's heads. This level, I could have... Is this the level where you can use... Yeah, this is the level where you can use the uh, frog suit, I believe, to go to the left at the start and unlock uh, another little secret area. It might not be this level. Anyway, so the gimmick in this level is Lakitu is up there, and Lakitu is throwing all these spinies at you. So if you're up at the surface, it's very tough to dodge them. The solution to that is just go down to the bottom of the level, and you have plenty of time to dodge... This. Oh. See what happens when you go up to the top? It becomes much harder to dodge, uh, but your way to go is to just stay down at the bottom, and they're a lot it's a lot easier to dodge those spinies. Still, you do have to come up to the top at, right at the end of the level. Oh, well, that was a very careless hit. I even said to stay at the bottom, and then I went up a little bit higher. And now the Starman's getting a little routine, so I've seen it like four or five times in a row now. But hey, five more one-ups. You can't turn them away. If I die 63 times, they'll come in handy. <laughs> uh, I have a little inventory space. So I should be okay here. Let's see. I don't remember. I think that this is mushroom, flower, and leaf in here. It's either that or it's frog suit, flower, and leaf. One of the two. Anyway, we do have some Hammer Brothers here. So let's use that flower. And I'll show you how easy it is to kill these guys with Fire Mario. Watch. Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> This guy actually gives you a P-Wing, which is really nice. I haven't used any P-Wings yet, but I, I if I make it far enough, I am planning on using them. Uh, I'm probably good for this guy, too. Well. Sorry. <laughs> Those guys just die so easily to the Fire Mario. Just the one Fireball. Anyway, let's go to le level 6. Oh, wait, maybe I should have gone to 5 first. One of these levels has a Tanuki suit in it, and I can't remember which one off the top of my head. What's the gimmick in this level? I need to see a little bit more of the level. Oh, there's a one up in there. Yeah, didn't remember that. Oh, this. Okay, so the gimmick in this level is you go through the door and you go from big to little and back again. Watch. Little. Big. I'm going to stick with little because it's, it's actually easier. Easier to be in the little on the little side. So it's like now it's like we're not in Giant World. So everything's gone back to its normal 8-bit size. This area is a little tricky to do if you don't have the firepower, 
But uh, if you do, you just kill the kill the Koopa Troopa with your fireball. Oh, and you can get trapped in there very easily. That's why I'm glad I had the firepower. Like, if you don't know that the blocks are there, you can get screwed over. Much like in... Have any of you seen the uh, Kaizo Mario videos? Kaizo Mario is one of those Mario ROM hacks. It's also known as Asshole Mario, but the official name is actually Kaizo Mario. It's done by a Japanese guy. Very, very funny. Uh, designed to be super difficult, and oftentimes they, uh, the levels are specifically designed to put to put bricks in, uh, put little invisible coin blocks in like the most ridiculous places possible. If you've never seen that, do a search for it. Kaizo Mario. Very, very funny stuff to watch. Uh, very, very difficult as well. A little bit like I Want to Be the Guy. Probably not quite as hard as that, though. Okay, anyway, so here, can break the brick here. Why do I want to do that? Well, there's a, ra there's a leaf, and I'd prefer to be Raccoon Mario for this level. So I'd rather have Raccoon Mario than Fire, Fire Mario. Fire Power's not going to do anything against these cannons. Okay, so this is the level where you can get a Tanuki suit. You just have to jump off of the bullet bills, and now I've screwed it up already. And these have the particular property of the glowing ones will chase you back and forth. Only the glowing ones, though. Anyway, I'd still rather have Fire Flower than, you know, nothing. I thought it was up here. Maybe I'm forgetting, though. I could be could be totally wrong. Anyway, well, we'll keep going. I can always go back again. Uh, it's not up here, either. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Duh. There it is. So the trick is you got to jump off the bullet bill up to the vine. It... It looks kind of hard, but it, it's not really that tricky. And in here, we've got Tanuki Suit Mario. Yay! I love the Tanuki Suit. So, Tanuki Suit is exactly the same as Raccoon Mario, except that by hitting down and B, you can turn into a statue. And the statue is completely invulnerable. Completely invincible to attacks of any kind. Uh, however, you can only stay in the statue for a couple seconds. So, right there. I'm going to be transforming a lot, because I love this form. I love going into statue form. Uh, you have to be a little careful when you've got Tanuki Mario or Hammer Brothers Mario or whatever not to pick up like a flower or a leaf or something. Because, oh, let's see. Uh, I need to clear out something from my inventory, so let's waste another star. You get a lot of stars between um, the Hammer Brothers and also the card game. Oh, well, look at this. Flipping Tanuki suit. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, and I turned got the turn into stone perfectly too. Wow, that's so sweet. If you hit down and B, so you normally hit B to open the treasure chest. I think I'm going to use the music box just to get rid of it. If you normally hit B to open the the toad, the boxes in the toad house. If you hit down and B at just the right time, you turn into a statue as you open up the box. I was able to turn into a statue while I was doing flips because I was Star Mario. That, that was so sweet. I, I think I'm going to shed a tear here. <laughs> Okay, anyway, so last fortress. There's two fortresses here in world, uh, in this world. World number four, yes. I'm going to try to hit this P-switch. Uh, I, bet, I bet you thought I got hit there, right? Nope. I was turning into, stat into the statue form just to make sure I didn't get hit. All right. So what this is, this is uh, this little area. This is a little secret area in the fortress. It anticipates world number seven, which has a lot of pipe mazes. Another really cool world in terms of the design. Let's kill this guy with tail first. There we go. So this is what World 7 is like on a larger scale. You have to sort your way through these pipe mazes and jump on these different blocks. I, I don't want to hit that question mark block. There's a leaf in there. I do not want to get turned into Raccoon Mario. I want to be Tanuki Mario. So going through the pipes, come out here on the left. And now we got to go to this one in the middle. The pipe mazes get a little bit more difficult in World 7. So see the little exclamation point or the light bulb on this? Every time you jump, it changes the direction. So watch right here, and we'll turn into the statue form, not that we need that. So this is pretty simple platforming. You just have to keep guiding the little thing up and around. But I do remember when I played this for the first time when I was a kid, I was just like totally confused about how to get through there. Anyway, you might have seen that question mark block up there. That's a one up. There's a little path up there. Oh, almost. I didn't get the spot quite right. So that's one up, and then watch this. There's another three one-ups here. One, two, three, and you might think we're done. Nope, there's still another secret here. Oh, come on. Got to get the flight off. Have to be able to fly, of course, in order to get this. But break the bricks up here, and there's even more coins up here. And yes, this is all in a fortress as well. You, 
I, I do wonder who designed the fortress with all these extra one-ups and extra coins in there. You'd think whoever was designing them wouldn't make it easier for Mario like that, but what do I know about fortress design? All right, right here. Okay, I missed. You can kill these spinning discs, discs with the statue. See? You can kill them. You have to jump in midair, turn into the statue, and then you can kill them. All right. I'm going to turn into the statue and turn into the statue again. Boom! Take that! There's a big statue on your head. Yeah, that's right. You're not just getting stomped like normal. You're getting a big statue on you. Anyway, so yes, kept the Tanuki suit through another level. Um, do I even want to play the card game? Nah, we'll skip it for now. I got enough items. On to castle number four. This guy apparently has been turned into a dinosaur. He's like a little Yoshi. Uh, I should mention one other thing. Uh, I, I hadn't thought that this would come up, but if you beat the airship with either a frog suit, a Tanuki suit, or a Hammer Mario suit, you get a different message from the king at the end. Uh, it's a slightly different message depending on what you get. So um, maybe I'll be able to do this. Hopefully I won't. I'll, maybe I'll be able to do this without getting hit. I, I certainly hope so. Anyway, the Tanuki suit can kill the flames too. Yeah, you wouldn't think you could kill the flames, but you can. Turn into the statue, jump right on the tip of the flame, and you kill it. And then they stop coming back again. Have I mentioned, is it becoming clear why I love the Tanuki suit so much? Uh, I think it's much better than the Hammer Brothers suit, to be honest. Now, you cannot kill those flames. The vertical flames you cannot kill. You might, uh, I've tried, they, they don't die. Not even to the statue. Anyway, the little spinning disc thingy there. There are a lot of them on the airships, on airship 6 and airship 7. So hopefully I'll have a chance to show that but we're still a ways away from that. Maybe, we'll see. Unlike other airships, the little wrench guys do not come back. Oh wait, yes they do. Duh, I just said they don't come back. I thought they didn't. He just took so long. Well, there we go. Little proof there of how you can't be harmed while you're in statue form. The little wrench goes right through me. Now, I should be able to kill this flame. Nope, too early. Doesn't matter though. Oh, yes! Woo! A little bit close. Oh, there we go. Wow, that was way closer than it should have been. And on this airship, it's much safer to stay on top than it is to be down there. Oop, I must not have hit the right spot on that one. That should do it. Nope, maybe I can't kill this one because it's going to the left instead of the right. Oh, wait, watch here. See, I'm on the top corner. If you do this just right, you can float up to there. Little trick, you can get up on top of here if you do it just right. And that allows you to skip that whole area down there. See, I'm invisible right now because the screen scrolls down. Oh, there I am. But would I like to skip that whole section right there? Sure, why not? There we go. Okay, so this is Iggy Koopa. He is just like the first guy that you fight. Lemmy Koopa or Larry Koopa. And yes, got it! All right. First time I've... I think that's the first time I've done one of these Koopa kids without getting hit. There we go. Now we got the one and you're going to see something that I don't think too many people know about. The, the fact that you get a different message from the king. He says... Um, thank you, kind raccoon. Please tell me your name. That's what he says for, uh, Tanuki Mario. For Hammer Brother Mario, he says something like, uh, can I borrow your clothes? No dice? What a drag. It's something like that for Hammer Mario. But, uh, I, I, I've almost, I don't know. I've almost never been able to beat, uh, beat, a, beat one of these guys with, uh, Hammer Mario. Anyway, the thief who has stole the whistle has escaped to the sands to the east. I've enclosed something that may protect you. I don't have a whole lot of items here. But I can't use like a mushroom or I lose my tanuki suit. Oh well. Just gonna have to, uh, if I end up uh, getting another item, just have to uh, lose it. So, you might think, well can the tanuki suit kill these guys too? Can they kill the chain chomps? Well, what do you think? It's the tanuki suit. Of course it can kill the chain chomps. Tanuki suit kills everything. <laughs> All right, so this is another secret. I want to get rid of that leaf. That leaf is like a poison pill. I want to get rid of that as soon as possible. This is a secret that's not well known in Mario 3. You want to clear out some space. So we got rid of the chain chomp. We got rid of the leaf. Now if we fly right here, there's a pipe up in the sky right here. Can we get in that? Yes. Could have tried again. So there's a secret area up here. And that leads to the center of this level. You're supposed to go down here to the bottom. You're supposed to go through there, but watch this. There's another even more secret thing you can do. Watch this. We're going to fly up here, and we're going to fly while ducking and squeeze through this crack. 
<laughs> you actually can't go back. I'm not trapped. I have to go to the right and watch. There's a music box here. I don't think a lot of people know about that. That's one of the more elaborate secrets in Mario uh, Mario 3. So did we lose something off of that music box? Oh, there's another inventory screen. I thought that uh, you only got three. Shows what I remember. Okay, so you get four. So we've got room for more items. Okay, I didn't have to waste all that stuff in the last world. Oh, well. Anyway, here, this is a level that's got two parts. You can either fall down. If you fall down, you go down to the bottom part of the level. But you don't want to be down there. You want to be on the top part of the level because that's where all the secret stuff is. So we got to be a little bit careful. The Koopa Troopers are going to fall down here. Oh, how about that? Got the statue kill on both of them. That can be a little bit tricky. If you don't know what's coming up, you can fall down to the bottom section pretty easily. Instead, we're going to be up on top in the snow and ice section and watch more secret stuff. There's a fire flower in that block on the left. That block right next to me, there's a fire flower. But we don't want that. We want the three one-ups. Oh, they all went left. I thought one of them was going to go to the right. There we go. Nice, nice 72 extra lives. Anyway, so keep on going. This is, uh, those two Goombas and this Koopa Troop are the only enemies up here. By the way, you'd think that you'd be able to tail that on the left, but you actually have to jump to hit it. Just a little random tidbit. Okay, that's it. Short level. Can be a lot harder if you fall down at the beginning. If you stay up on the top part of the level, it's much, much easier. No Starman that time, though. No 5-up, unfortunately. This is a great mushroom house. This is all Tanuki suits in here. All three boxes are Tanuki suits. Really, really sweet. Boom, there we go. Another Tanuki Mario. I'll probably die without ever using most of this crud in my inventory, but whatever. I might as well grab it while I can. Put more of those little M's up on the map while we're at it. Anyway, so from here, let's see. Let's just go and take out this Hammer Brother. So, just like in World 3, and that's that's how you want to do it. Nice and routine. Nothing too scary. Ooh, a P-Wing. Sweet. I forgot that that guy gave you a P-Wing. And turns to the statue right at the end. All right, so let's go to World 3. 5-3. This is one of the more famous levels in Super Mario Bros. 3 because this is the level with the shoe. Yes, Karibo's boot is in this level. Or is it Karibo's shoe? Well, whatever it's called. Everybody knows about the shoe, right? You guys know about this. The shoe that you take away from the Goomba. Mm, give me that shoe. So, yes, that's right. Tanuki Mario in the shoe. What could be cooler than this? This is the only level in the entire game that the shoe appears in. It's very rare power-up, only in this level. But it uh, it basically means that you can stomp anything. You can stomp the spinies, you can stomp the bobombs, and you can walk on the munchers that you normally can never walk on. These guys. It's the only time you can walk on these guys in Mario 3. Well, they're frozen in ice in World 6, but other than that, you can't, can't walk on them. Oh, and there's some parts in World 7 where um, you have to run on them while you're invincible, and that can be a little tricky. But with those two exceptions aside, you can't uh, you can't run on top of the munchers in Mario 3. There's another little guy in there, but whatever. He can he can hang out in there. I've already got my shoe. I don't need another one. Maybe you should call him um maybe you should call me Dunk Master Mario while I'm in the shoe because he just dunks everybody. <laughs> uh, the shoe's actually a little weird to use. It 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 doesn't walk in a straight line. You do this little hopping thing while you're in the show. There we go. You might have noticed that, but you, you can't really walk in a straight line. It's also impossible to build up the power meter, the P meter at the bottom. You can't build it up while you're in the show. It's impossible to run. Sadly, you can't take the shoe to the next level. All you can do is bounce around in it. Oh, let's try and get a bouncy star. No, got a mushroom. It's so sad that they won't let you take that with you. Oh, well. I've kept the Tanuki suit for quite a while at this point. Hopefully I can keep it going. I probably just jinxed myself by saying that. Okay, this fortress. This is a totally optional fortress. Playing this doesn't get you anything, but like I said, I want to clear all the levels, so here we go. Just going to clear out... Uh, this is really nice being Tanuki Mario here because I can clear out the... Um, can clear out those searchlight thingies, whatever they're called. Now, there is a leaf in that brick, so I don't want to hit the question mark block. There is a secret area up there. Just get rid of that searchlight again. Make it safer. This is, a, this is not the easiest flight path. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get up there. No. You're going to have to try it again. Yeah, you have to line it up pretty well to get up there. Come on, let's try it again. Oh, I thought I had it. I don't think I'm going to make it. 
Come on! Ugh. Okay, well, let's just keep going. Anyway, there is a secret area up there. It, I think it just has some more coins in it. There we go. I suppose I don't have to kill those searchlights, but um, I feel like it's a little bit safer just to make sure to take them out. That way I know I won't get hit. That was too early. Anyway, I guess I'm already past that. Alright, so... We've got a Boo, we've got a Thwomp, and we've got a Searchlight. Oh, I was hoping I could take that out on the fall. It's a little trickier than it looks here. Nope, too late. Gotta get the... Let's draw that Ghost away. And take this out right there. There we go. That makes that a lot easier. Now all I have to do is wait for the Thwomp to fall. He went up and down a lot of times. And this one, let's do the same thing. Nope. I actually do have to jump, I think. Uh, I'm getting a little too close for comfort here. Come on. Nope. I gotta line this up correctly. Oh. Fooey. There we go. Did it the more daring way, but it did work out. Wow, this is actually a bit of a tricky jump. I'm glad I have the raccoon tail. This too, watch, you've got to bait this guy out. See, bait him out and then go. A little tricky to do those jumps without a raccoon tail. I mean, you can do it, but it's it's not, it's a lot harder. All right, this guy and finish him off. Bam, with the statue, just for the extra insult. Anyway, as I said, that fortress is entirely optional. You get nothing for clearing it, except a bridge back to a place you've already been at the start. So it's a total waste of time. I still got plenty of space in my inventory. But you, you only get four spots. I know you don't get a fifth. Oh, that hammer would have hit me there. I had to go into uh, statue form. That would have hit me. Don't think I could have dodged that normally. Oh, another star. Hooray. Woo! Up in the air. <laughs> now this is a neat little level here. This is a very unique level. This little spiral thing is what takes you to the upper world. Sky world has two parts. There's a, a lower world and an upper world. And this is the bridge that connects them. I am going to try to kill these things again. Got it. Nice. Uh, I, it's just so much fun to be able to... Oh. You're kidding me, right? Uh, oh well. It was nice while it lasted. Now I can't kill the searchlights anymore. No more Tanuki suit. So sad. Anyway, going back to that point from before. the This level is what connects the upper and lower parts of Sky World. You always have to take it to go up. What a lot of people don't know is you can actually, when you're in the upper world, you can take the same tower and uh, go back to the lower world again. You can do it. There's no point to do it, but you can go back if you want to, back down to the lower world. We will get these coins for fun. And uh, you have to play through the level again to do it. But you play through the level in the reverse order. It's kind of funny. Anyway, these bricks, these four bricks on the right are all 10 coin blocks. All of them. Oh, I did them out of order. I'm just trying to do them all at once. Oh, well. Even that one is, that one is a 10 coin block too, but it's almost impossible to get to it. Unless you're uh, doing something really weird. <laughs> Uh, I have played through this game with Game Genie when I was a kid, and you can like fly around and be, uh, you can have like always in raccoon mode or always, always able to fly, that kind of thing. And that allows you to test out some of this stuff. Anyway, these bricks are all coin blocks, not 10 coin blocks, just normal ones, but we'll pick up the four coins while we're here. And then this vine, that's a vine, will lead us up, up and up and up, up towards the sky. More and more clouds in the background, and that's the end of the level. No card in this level. See? There we are. We're up on the top. I like the little graphic in the top left corner, too. How you can see the little area that you left behind. This level is one that I'm going to try to fly over a lot of the stuff. If you, if you have a raccoon tail, you can fly over most of the level, and it makes it much easier. Watch, just like this. See? I'm going to fly, 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 and when we come down, it should be right at the end of the level, if I remember. Yep. So, was that kind of cheesy? Yes. Did I die? No. <laughs> so, anyway, that's a way to get through. Notice that all of the ending areas are all, like, cloud themes now. Oh, we got the card game again. I guess we'll play for fun. There's still some good stuff. I would like to get another fire flower. Can never have too many fire flowers. Well, isn't that close enough? I mean, that was pretty close, right? 10 coin, 20 coin. 
20. I just saw the 20. Oh, wow. I think it was over on the right. Oh, well. Anyway, level 5. You can get a Tanuki suit in this level as well. It's actually fairly easy to get. So I should be able to pick that up. Here, clear the blocks. And then clear this. And you can go down this pipe. And I believe it's in here. Yep. Fall down. Boom. Yes! Tanuki Mario once again. Back again. <laughs> At least I didn't have to wait too long. There's a... Uh, isn't there... I think there's a star in there. Oh, by the way, with the statue, you don't have to hit the Koopa Troopas twice. You just hit them once and they die. I love that. Let's clear out this Goomba. Oh, you don't have to hit the Flying Goomba twice either. Hit him once and he just gets crushed by the statue. Anyway, so that's the end of this one. There's another one up. 76. Not too far to go. We only need 23 more in order to max out the counter. World 5-6 down there is very tough. I'm going to skip that for the moment. I skipped the Mushroom House as well. I probably should go back for that. Anyway, this level... Hmm, I don't remember this one particularly well. It doesn't seem to stand out in my head. Oh, it's this one. Okay. <laughs> I recognize it now with the blocks. Watch. You can do something funny. You can, you can um, go right through all these bricks. I'm going to do this for fun. Well, I have to dodge the guy who's dive bombing me from above, but... Yeah, you can just uh, clear out all these bricks all the way through. I mean, it's kind of pointless. Ah, oh, take that. <laughs> it's kind of pointless, but uh, you can do this instead of going up top there. Of course, now it's a little bit hard. It's actually much harder to do this than just go up top. There we go. Did you know that you can scroll this guy off the screen? Um, if you if you hold him right at the side of the screen while he's uh, about to shoot his fireballs, he will not throw the fireballs. I just don't want to fall down that little hole and die <laughs> and have to stop doing this. There we go. Whoop, whoop, right throw. Anyway, so I want to go down here. It, it, you don't have to, but it's another little secret area. And I'm going to go ahead and get a couple of extra coins. I believe that that's, a, that's some kind of power-up, I think, in that brick. Anyway, there is a P-switch down here somewhere. I can't remember where it is, though. Where is it? I think it's up top somewhere. Okay. Oh, there we go. There's another. Now, the funny. Now, here's something that's real funny. I think the intent of the designers was for you to grab the uh, star and go back to the rest of the level, but you can't go through the pipe while you're invincible because you flip, and you can't go through a vertical pipe while you're flipping. It's very strange. So I don't. That's a little bit weird. Like you get the invincibility, but you can't actually use it in the rest of the level. Oh well. Anyway, I'm just gonna run through this area with Lakito because if you pause in one area while Lakito's there, he'll just keep throwing the spinies at you. So you actually do better to run through the level quickly. Anyway, let's clear out another one of the Hammer Brothers right here. Oh wow. Oh, good thing I have the hammer form or statue form. Excuse me. <laughs> Got a little excited there. Yeah, good thing I have that statue form, right? I would have gotten hit by a hammer again. But statue form is too OP, as they say. All right, I need to get rid of these music boxes. I really don't need the music boxes. Anyway, there's two toad houses opened up. Go ahead and clear out this one first. And the flower. Well, that's not too bad. I think I have about five flowers. That's probably way more than I'll ever need, but we'll see. Let's see. How many do I have? Uh, I need to clear something else out. We'll use the other music box. There's still another toad house up there in the corner. All right, this castle's all fire. It's kind of random. I don't know why it's all fire. And yes, by the way, I have died on that screen many times before while playing this game. <laughs> it's a bit of a tricky little jump to start the level. All right. Now, the fireballs that come out of the air, you can kill them with the uh, statue form. Yeah, you, once again, you can kill pretty much everything with statue form. However, the ones that are over lava, you'd have to jump into the lava to kill them, and that's not really worth it. So we just dodge them as normal. Only when they're over the bridge can you, you know, actually kill them. By the way, they come down from the ceiling, too. The fireballs. Now, the one thing you can't kill is you cannot kill the ghosts with statue form. Sorry, it doesn't work. Only Hammer Mario can kill them. But Hammer Mario does kill ghosts with his uh, hammers. Hammer Mario will kill ghosts and thwomps with uh, the hammers. But the hammer suits are just so rare in this game, you almost never get to use them. I could kill that fireball. Let's see if we can... Nah, we'll just skip it thinking about it. This one will kill. See? Makes the little uh, squishing sound effect. Now I want to draw this boo back a little bit away from this fireball. This one should be able to kill. 
<laughs> a little too easy there. Here they come out from the top and the bottom at the same time. Just skip that. It's too risky. Don't want to lose it. Also, by the way, note the little pit. I've died there too. I have definitely died there before. Very sad to make it all the way through this level and die in that little tiny pit. Anyway, another boom boom down. At this point, they're getting to be pretty routine. Especially in an open chamber like this with no blocks to mess up your jumps. Pretty easy to kill. So there we go. Breaks the lock. And now we can go on to world... What is this? Level 8? This is another level that it's good to try to fly your way through as quickly as possible. This one is just Lakitu throws stuff at you. Woo! That statue form, pretty good. Anyway, the trick to doing this level is to run quickly for a couple seconds and then slow it down and then run quickly for a few seconds and then slow it down. If you keep altering your pace, it's much better than if you run really fast. Uh-oh, this could be trouble. Okay. Woo! Oh, got it! <laughs> I wasn't sure I was going to get that. Oh, man, this is <laughs> this is intense. That's right, I forgot you can use your tail on the spinies. Oh, wow, I should have been more patient there. That's a shame. Oh, well. What? I didn't get a star? I should have gotten a star there. I, don't, I do not understand why that wasn't a star. Well, that is going to allow me to use uh, a P-Wing. I do have a couple P- How many do I have? I have five P-Wings in inventory. I'm going to use one of these on World 6. So, this gives you a chance to see what the P-Wings do. The P-Wings are a little cheesy. I'm not going to deny that, because they, they kind of allow you to skip the stage. What it does is it turns you into Raccoon Mario, and then your power meter is always full, so you can just fly endlessly. So you can fly over the stage. That's what I'm going to do here. The reason why I'm doing that is this is a very tricky level to do. You have to jump from one of these flying beetles to the next. And if you don't land directly on their backs, you take a hit. So it's it's just a very tricky level to do. And I've always had a lot of trouble with this one. I'm, I'm pretty sure I could do it without dying, but why take the risk? I've got five P-Wings. The only other place I really need P-Wings is for some of the levels in World 8. They're quite handy. And I don't need quite this many. Oh my god, I screwed it up. I was trying to hit that guy on the head. Oh, by the way, P-Wings are not uh, not a free pass because if you get hit, you lose the you lose the benefit. So yeah, I, I screwed that up pretty good, trying to kill this guy. All right, let's let's not screw this up. Come on, there we go. Yeah, I was trying to hit the little uh, bomb guy on the head and I missed and I lost my pewing. That could have been disastrous if it had happened earlier in the level. That could have been really bad indeed. But we did clear the level, and since I did have to earn those pewings, I don't feel like it's too bad. It's not like I have an infinite supply of pewings either. I only have so many. So when I use them up, they're gone. One of the reasons why it's good to get those white mushroom houses, uh, you do need that supply of P-Wings, is the thing. All right, so we've got another card game. I actually can't skip this one, even if I wanted to. It's blocking the way forward. All right, one up. I saw that one up last time. But it wasn't there, was it? <laughs> All right, well, obviously I'm going to get it now. Um, Up here? No, that's the 10 coins. Okay. Those coins always screw me up. All right, I'm going to use another P-Wing here because this is another level that's that's just all platforming and it's very challenging. Auto-scrolling, platforming, vertical. This one's doable, but again, it's just it's just very difficult and I've got the P-Wing, so I'm going to go ahead and use this one. It also allows me to do this ridiculous jumping, uh, ducking, flying that I always find amusing. There is actually some practicality. You have a slightly smaller hitbox while you're ducking, so if you're going to be flying, you might as well duck, make your hitbox a little bit smaller. So the only enemies in this level are these guys, but these guys are really annoying. They fly after you, they spit fire, and then after they spit all five of their fireballs, they actually explode. We should be able to see this guy explode. So I'm just going to keep my distance. Oh my god, here comes the next one. Oh wow. That was very close to hitting me and then me falling to my death. Wow, I passed right through the log. That's kind of weird. So yes, I hope you can see why that's a little bit tricky, trying to manage that section. Okay, well we made it through. Minus one P-Wing but with life still in hand. So, on to World 5 Castle and World 5 Airship. Very appropriately, the king is turned into a bird. Not too surprising. Please find the magic wand so we can change him back. Sorry, no, no separate message. I'm just normal Raccoon Mario, no Tanuki. No thank you kind Raccoon message if I manage to beat this level. This airship is uh, pretty well known for having a whole bunch of cannons on it. It's almost entirely cannons. There's a little section known as the gauntlet. That is just nothing but cannons. 
So I we'll, uh, should have a chance to see that a little bit later on. This part is, you know, not challenging. By the way, the bullet bills don't fire if you're standing on top of their cannon. I think most people know that, but I'll just mention it. This is not particularly difficult. Right here, stand on the top and jump over here with the raccoon tail. See? Managed to skip that little section. Not that that section's that challenging either. And where am I? There I am, up on top. So this part here with the guns is this part, section that's usually referred to as the gauntlet. Now, it, I actually messed that up. You can get on top of this thing. See how it's all cannonballs? It's really not as bad as it looks. There's it's not really that many cannon shots coming at you. You can get on top of that thing if you do it correctly. I didn't. Anyway, so this is Roy Koopa. He shakes the ground when he jumps. So you have to be. Up, you want to make sure to be up in the air while he's bouncing around. If you do that, though, he's actually not that challenging. See, just remember to stay up in the air while he's doing his ground shaking thing. It's pretty simple to kill. I actually think the ground shaking ones are, are, are relatively easy to kill because they don't jump very high. The normal Koopa kids jump much higher. So take that for what it's worth. But if you haven't seen it before, it can be tricky. Only two more Koopa kids to go. Let's keep this rolling. On to world six. This guy looks like an old man with like a tremendous fork beard. He also looks like he um, doesn't have any legs. He's just a big head sitting on the throne. Anyway, on to the next. Well, wait, wait, we have a letter from the princess and another cloud. Be careful in the ice world. The creature's trapped in the ice. Well, whatever. I guess I hit the button too fast. Let's see, three, oh, we got a lot of fire flowers. That bodes well for this world. As you might expect, fire, fire flowers are pretty good for the ice world. However, uh, in this level, in this level, the uh, Fire Mario is better. The problem is I want to be Raccoon Mario for the next level. The next level is all platforming, so I want to be Raccoon Mario for the next level. So I'm going to try to do this as Raccoon Mario. These guys are a lot easier to kill with fireballs than with your tail, but, I mean, you can do it. Just be a little bit careful here. I had to go way back to deal with that fireball. All right, so right here, right on the edge of the screen. Now let's time this. Boom! Just got it right. These guys are irritating. They're a little tricky to jump over because they toss that ball up in the air when you jump over them. So normally, normally you use fireball, and fireball kills them very easily. Um, but I'm having to do it the hard way and use the raccoon tail. Come on. Come on. Come this way. Oh, we got to deal with the flying Goomba first. All right, get that out of the way. I believe that's another fire flower in there, if I remember correctly. If I get hit, I'll go back and take it. There we go. All right, you two, you're easier to hit. You don't move around. And I think that's it. So not too bad. Pretty short level. All righty, on to the next level. And I believe that, like I said, I'm pretty sure this next one is platforming. Um, let's go to two first, I think. Yeah, let's go to two. Just do go them in order. Yeah, so, like I said, auto-scrolling, platforming, my memory was correct here. Just much better to have the raccoon tail in an auto-scrolling, platforming level like this. Uh, Fire Mario wouldn't really do that much in this level. I can't remember if that's a fire flower or a, or a leaf, so I'm just going to skip it. Little, not too bad, not too bad getting over that. Like, uh, over here, let's go down and get these coins. That's a little bit greedy, but I'll take them anyway. All these little block things just getting in your way. No P-switches in this level, if I remember correctly. Here, we go vertical a little bit again. Still not too bad. It's not as bad as 5-9, the level I used the P-wing on. There's a 10-coin block in there. Let's see how many we can get. Should be able to get most of these without any real trouble. And, yeah. Now the screen's going to start scrolling down again. There's a platform here. There's also a 1-up over there to the right. Should be able to get that without any real trouble. If I don't mess up these jumps, there we go. And it'll come down to me. Sweet. 80 lives. Very nice. And uh, that's it. Not too bad. The uh, pipes are a little bit slippery, though. There is uh, icy terrain in this level, as you might imagine. It is the ice world, after all. Oh, there we go. Starman's back. Five, uh, five extra lives. I do like the five up. Up to 85. Sweet. And I've almost got enough for another card game as well. Let's see. Oh, there's, there's a lot of Hammer Brothers in this level. That's them moving around off in the out off to the right where we can't see them. I still have a little inventory. Let's just burn through one of those stars. Makes it a lot easier. Uh, they can be a little tricky here, the Hammer Brothers, because the floor is all ice. And you do slide around on it as I go up into the sky. And uh, let's go ahead and grab the Toad House while we're here. 
I can't remember if this one has a chance to give you a Tanuki suit or not. I can't remember. Well, in any case, we got a leap there. That's not a bad result. Only one more inventory slot, though. I actually have 27 items right now. Anyway, let's go on. This is another platforming level. Another ice platforming level. So, it's... Oh! Oh, no! No! Oh. Oh, fiddlesticks. Well... It was fun while it lasted. So, that's it. I said I was only playing until I died. And uh, I only made it to 6-2. I'm sorry, I was hoping I would make it through World 6 so you guys could see at least into World 7. But that is as far as we've made it. So, see you later.